today I'm talking about volunteering. Now, has anybody ever stopped and helped you to do something? I'm yes. guessing yes, right? Yes. All right, so how did that make you feel? Anybody? Special. Any special any, like, word little thing? Like if you're taking groceries to your car, somebody stops to help you. It feels nice, right? Yes, All right. Definitely. So, volunteering in your local community is a great way to give back and is a positive example. Now, what I mean by positive example is that if you're volunteering and there's people that are like homeless or there's kids that have been in bad experiences, like if you're volunteering, they see that you're kind of like giving back and, and it encourages them to do right things. And there's just a lot of crime in this world and it's really tough, right? Okay. So, if we all did something to help those in need, we ha would have a better and safer community and have a greater sense of accomplishment. I try and do one volunteer activity each month and can tell, um, and I can tell you that I have personal benefits from that. Now, I have gone to Romania. That's kind of like a, a step from volunteering, but I've done missions work and you're kind of volunteering in a different country, which is kind of nice. So I absolutely love that, giving back to the community in different countries that probably need more help than we do. But even here in America, we have a lot of issues and there's a lot of kids and everything. So um, another mission trip that I did was that um, I went to Mexico. And we served the kids and we built houses. And we did lots of things. And it's actually really amazing to see how people would give us back a positive attitude. And they would tell us how much they adored that we gave back to them. And um, another thing that I did was something actually here at our church, which is Love Unleashed. Have any of you guys heard of that? Mm -hmm. Love Unleashed? Okay. That is one of my favorite time of year because I'm with all my good friends. And like this summer, we, um, we went to a community garden. Like uh, it's down that way. Have any of you guys seen it? It's near church. It's by Fred Myers. Yeah. yeah. So we went there and we we uh, plowed a field for them so they could start growing things over in that little field. And we um, we helped them plant certain things and we got rid of weeds and everything. So that was really nice. Okay. So moving on. Um, the need. All right. So the problems in our community are great and affect us all. Families living in poverty in our community have a significant needs, which need to be addressed. This increased rate of poverty has been especially tough on the children. Don't you agree? Mm -hmm. Like our kids and our community. Okay. So there has been an increase in preventable childhood diseases. Many of the children only get a full meal during school at lunch. So many of these kids um, go hungry and they leave home and they are still hungry which um, I see a lot of because um, even in Mexico, the kids would go to school and um, they would get one meal and they'd come back home and they'd go to church to get more food because they had no food at home and their parents couldn't provide for them because they were living in poverty. And it's such a sad thing to see, but um, it's a very real thing. So um, now since all those kids are struggling if they are living in poverty. The standardized test scores for these children have been decreasing over the years. Um, because of this uh, increased level of poverty in our community, shelters and um, food shelters, um, well, not food shelters, but food banks, um, are over capacity. The largest homeless shelters have been started to, uh, to limit um, have started to limit the amount of time a person can stay due to increased demand, which that is really crazy to me. Like, um, can you imagine um, going to a homeless shelter if you were homeless and trying to get in, but you could only stay for like several hours or just one day because the increased people going there, they need a place to stay and they tell you to leave because there's just too many people that need to be in the homeless shelter. Like, how crazy is that? Um, all right, so um, at food banks, um, 
there has been a limit to the operating hours because it does not have enough food, which is surprising. Um, a big thing in our family is we do like going to food, shelf, uh, food banks, and we like um, working there. I've done it several times. I've done it with Foursquare. I've um, gone to several places, and we've given like bags of lunches to places. And what I did actually notice is that in the food banks, they actually don't really have enough food, which is crazy. Because like, imagine all of the food that that's left over at like a, a restaurant or something. Like, all that just goes in the dump. And I think that's just insane. But anyways, um, the crime rate in our community has increased due to the increases in poverty. The local paper reports a 14 increase in the petty theft of poverty. The community police report that uh, the community police uh, report that many of the increased thefts are due to people pawning stolen poverty to pay for food and medicine. Um, clearly, our local community is in need, but fortunately, there is many ways that we can give back. Um, if we all agree to volunteer at least once a month for those in need, many of these problems can be um, changed and they can be helped. Um, according to the local food pantry, it is always in need of more canned goods. So imagine just going home and looking through your cabinet. Like I know that at my house we have a lot of cans that we probably won't ever open. Like I know that we have a we have a can of spinach. We do, we do. We have a can of spinach that's called Popeye's spinach, but you can eat it, but I know nobody in my house is gonna want to eat it because it's Popeye's. So I know that we can at least give that I was giving to a food bank. <laughs> So, um, the food pantry is also currently seeking long-term volunteers to help organize and deliver food to those in need. So, that's something that I necessarily don't feel called to, because imagine just volunteering at a food bank for long-term. But I know that there's a lot of people that are just dedicated to that kind of work, and it's actually kind of insane and crazy. But it's also something that I wish I had the heart to do. Like, I wish I had the time for it, is what I mean. But, um... Anyway, so the local elementary schools can establish an after-school program that is made up for us to interact with the children after um, being affected by like, poverty. So um, I think several schools already do that, is where they have people come in and play with the kids that are in poverty, which is kind of nice. And um, anyway, so in this program, college students could, uh, could read, play basketball, and generally serve a good role of models. Volunteers in this program could also help find resources for the parents to utilize it to help their children succeed in school. So imagine going to a school, you influence these kids in a right way. They're going to be influenced to do things better with their life instead of um, just going home or doing something bad. And they, like, a lot of the kids that are in poverty tend to do things like steal or do things that are wrong and, or drugs or stuff because that's just something that they're pulled into because they don't want to go home because they don't have anything at home, which is tough. But um, so um, because of the high demand and the lack of resources, the, home, uh, the homeless shelter is currently in need of repairs and could use workers to clean, repaint, and repair the parts of the shelter, which I would love to do. I think I'm actually going to do that. So. Now that I have talked to you about three specific areas in which we could volunteer to help our community, I will now discuss some of the benefits. Um, helping the local community deal with our poverty issues will benefit us all. Imagine just all the trash swept off the street and just imagine not seeing like that one homeless person that just looks like they're having such a tough day. Like imagine if they were helped and they were all, like had food for the night, that they had shelter. And, um, things that they could just reach on to, like just imagine that kind of world, that would be really nice. So, first, children would um, be better served in our community through the increased help at the food pantry and after school program. Studies have found that after school programs have helped greatly increase standardized test scores, like I said. Additionally, children have a positive role um, models and are less likely to become involved in criminal activity as teenagers. Um, 
Second, this plan of action would greatly enhance the ability of our local officials and service providers to solve the problems in our community. By volunteering, we are freeing up time of the officials and service providers to help find um, governmental solutions to uh, the needs of the community. Also, by volunteering, we are uh, giving workers at the food uh, bank and shelters some needed relief. Imagine how weighed down they feel and stressed they feel. Um, so, um, just imagine how weighed down they feel. So, third, this plan would help decrease some of the crime related petty thief. Um, lastly, volunteering to help your fellow citizens will make you feel better. I found that even if I'm having a bad day, by volunteering, I realize that I can make a difference. And in this world, my, um, my mood can be lifted. Um, plus, volunteering is not a bad thing to put on your resume, which is something that I found out myself, which I absolutely love that I can put things on my resume to make me look a little bit better. So, um, with our volunteering efforts, we can make a br uh, brighter day in those our in our community. Um, all right, so, you never know when you might need help one day. So think about going out and vol uh, volunteering in your community and helping out with kids and food shelters and just imagine all the great things you can do. Thank you for listening to me today. Good job. Good job.